Well, hi, I'm uh, Pascal Book from AC Software. I uh, lead the team who builds the uh, data grid for WPF. We just launched uh, version 3.0 of our product, which brought a, 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 a performance enhancements and uh, a 3D view as well, like some sort of a, a cover flow that, that you can see in iTunes. So we, we did that in, in, inside the data grid. Um, so today here at the PDC, we are showing a prototype of some of the stuff we're working on for future releases. Uh, so it's it's really a prototype, and there's uh, you know it's uh, far from being a final product yet. But uh, one of the things we wanted to do for a long time is to uh, work on the perceived performance of the product. So we worked hard on the real performance of the product mm -hmm. to make sure that it would, could be as fast as possible when you scroll through lots of data. But now we want to to go a step further and make the experience to the user seems like it's in instantaneous to scroll. Okay. So the end user grabs a scroll thumb here and moves very fast. Well, the um, the thumb will always follow immediately the, the data grid, and you will have immediate feedback that the grid is actually scrolling. Okay. Um, what we do is that when we scroll, we actually we actually don't create any uh, visual containers for the data items that should be displayed where you are scrolling to. But mm -hmm. uh, after some uh, after after you stop scrolling for a couple hundred milliseconds, mm -hmm. we will start generating those containers in uh, in batches. So we do we do them uh, via dispatcher timer. Uh, so we can generate like three containers at a time every uh, 75 milliseconds, for example. Example. Mm -hmm. So this really gives the impression that you know it, it, it really is instant when you scroll, and then when you release the thumb, the the, the visual containers start to appear in a smooth fashion inside mm -hmm. the data grid. So, so this is the first thing that we wanted to work on to you know really uh, push the envelope in. Um, and how users perceive the actual scrolling performance of the data grid. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing that we did uh, with this is that since we now have a uh, smooth scrolling panel, which you know scrolls in a, a an animated way, mm -hmm. we also built uh, some sort of uh, flick gestures into it. Oh. Um, <coughs> so with a mouse, it's not a re such a great experience, but. Uh, on the uh, touch devices such as uh, the HP TouchSmart that was uh, demoed at the PDC, it would it, you know it, it really is a great experience. So I can cl click in the grid and move uh, uh, the grid so it scrolls and it follows the mo movement of the cursor, mm -hmm. which could be my finger if this was a touch device. Mm -hmm. And then I can flick and it scrolls with some sort of friction. So as you can see in other uh, touch scrolling mm -hmm. uh, products. Um, and then the last thing that is uh, demoed in this prototype is the fact that we now uh, are able to pin group headers at the top of the grid mm -hmm. so that when, as you scroll, the group header for the group that corresponds to the uh, data rows that are currently displayed in the mm -hmm. viewport will always be pinned on the top. Yeah, cool. And then when, when I scroll beyond that group and bring another set of data rows, another group into, into view, then the uh, the next group header will kind of take its place. So this is um, pretty useful when you scroll with, uh, through large sets of data because you you always know mm -hmm. where you are in the in, in the groups, and when you come to the when you're scrolling to the group you want for which you want to see the data rows, and you can stop scrolling and, and, and you're there. <laughs> okay. So that's that's the. Um, that's the stuff that we were uh, showing here at the PDC. Um, we don't have any time frame for that yet. It's mostly uh, experimental and uh, prototype okay. stuff for, for now. Uh, but uh, stay tuned. We, are, we have some great stuff in store. Okay, thank you.